Good morning, everybody. I just left uh, fellowship today, um, and I, throughout my life and years and multiple things, I've heard people talk about uh, church. You come to church to get fed, to get preached to, to whatever, whatever you want to call it. But church actually is not for you to get fed one hour or two hours every Sunday or Sunday school. Church is actually about fellowshipping with other believers and then entering into fellowship with the, all those who have gone before us, the great cloud of witnesses. We're, we're actually taking our ceremonies, whatever times those are, days, and, and entering into that thing that all people share with the creator that have gone before us. But it kills me because when, when you sit there and you clarify that, as this is the church, this building built by man's hands, and it says multiple times in the Bible, God does not dwell in a building built by man's hands. God dwells, his spirit dwells in us. And when we become the temple, when we become the, the spirit in which the Holy Spirit of God dwells in, when we become the temple, and it's not this building built by man's hands, that makes it a lot less superficial of, well, we have to be holy when we show up to this place, this building, and act a certain way. And I, I know all of us, no matter where we're at, uh, show up and act a certain way around certain people uh, we, we have one way that we act at work or we have one way even as children that we go to school we have one way that we act on our co-workers or certain friends that come around or nobody's really just real and raw um, unfortunately me and my wife are probably a little too real around everybody in, in the same because we believe that you shouldn't only say certain words and cuss words or certain things at certain places and not do that everywhere we, we try to be as real as we possibly human can, and I don't know that that's always the best and bluntest way or greatest way to do that. But that being said, we're being the church everywhere we go. We make mistakes everywhere we go. We, we have problems everywhere we go, but we constantly are trying to dwell on the spirit and not the flesh. And you can't just do that two hours a Sunday or an hour a Sunday and think that the whatever is going to change in your life or is going to be different. But God does not dwell in a place built by man's hands. That's, that's the point of this one. He dwells in us. The Holy Spirit dwells in me and you. And we need to remember that and use that accordingly. It doesn't mean you'll drink, eat, do all things perfectly, but you are the church. The disciples were the church. It, it was never about a building. The buildings could all burn down. We're still going to come together in fellowship, I hope, like they do in the Middle East and other places. Like it, It's not about the temple or place you go to worship. It never has been. It's about us. We're, we're to be that, that church, that Bible to... We, you may be the only Bible that somebody ever reads. So go be that to the people that God puts you around or put you in front of. And be that for your kids. Be about that for your marriage, for your children, for all those you encounter, your coworkers, your employees, everything. You are the church. We are to be the church, the walking, talking, living church. The spirit dwells in us. So that being said, we need to be fighting against the flesh daily and focusing on the spirit way more in our lives. And that means in all aspects. When you come together as a family, when you come together as a group, when you come together as whatever, be the church, be the Bible that some people may never get a seat. The church is not where the building built by man's hands. That's just a place we go to fellowship with other believers and fellowship with them in the fellowship of the heavenlies that's already going on, that is gonna go on until Christ comes back, Christ's side and all that gets cracking. So think about that, be the church, be the change you wanna see in the world every day. And if you don't like the way something's going at work or wherever else, be be what you want it to change to be. So be the church, love God, love people, love you all. Have a good day.